to do a black back jackal call. In fact, it's so long since I've seen a black back jackal call, I can't even remember how they sound. I remember Step for at a, for a time had the black back jackal call as his ringtone on his cell phone. Every five minutes, you used to hear this jackal calling in camp, and it was quite some. Uh, it used to get people every now and then, but our. Back to our Nkuhuma pride, it's quite interesting just to see how they're all kind of clustering together. I think they're all getting a little cold, particularly the cubs. They've all started moving towards the females and now it's just one big carpet of lions all together. The youngest female with her cubs is here, so she is around, but she doesn't have the cubs obviously on, in nowhere to be seen. So I don't know if she's moved them or if they're still back where we saw them the other day near Mvubu Road. But... It seems as though she's been with the pride and has moved around but she's seems to be sporting a little injury on her ear which is obviously fighting around a carcass that is is exactly what we see from lions when they are on smallish carcasses with such a number of mouths to feed so you'll have a situation where they slap at each other with claws and bite and then you get these little injuries around the ears and, and head area. There's still a little bit of grooming going on. Lots of blood all over them that they need to get rid of. So you'll find they'll groom quite a lot now just to get those coats into better shape again. Blood and things congeals the coat and it makes it all full of mess. And so they hopefully will just get rid of all of that. And that's why there's been quite a bit of grooming happening over the last little bit. You can see one is being groomed nicely and is absolutely loving it to our right hand side. This little female. <laughs> Does that not look like the picture of absolute Sunday morning bliss for that lion is being groomed lovely by the... Look at that. How cool is that? And head passed out. Like I say, Sunday morning grooming. Campy, you're asking if lions are afraid of any animals. Well, yes, they're afraid of other lions. Um, young lions by themselves or even females by themselves will be quite nervous of clans of hyenas. Um, elephants also will chase lions all the time, so they get chased a lot by them. So there is quite a few animals that lions are a bit nervous of. Even, you know, things like rhinos as well. You'll have a situation where they... Um, they will back away and get off that area so um, they are nervous of those bigger animals and, and will very seldom take them on but other than that, it's not re that's about it they are certainly not scared of any of the antelope species and things like leopard and wild dog and cheetah are no worry for them so it's just other lions hyenas and the really big mega herbivores that we get out here in this area but just other lions is a, is enough to keep them busy and to keep them working. It's tough when you've got other lions around. It's, it makes life quite difficult. You can see one female is just moving off. So she's going to go rub up on amber eyes, which is going to be interesting to see how amber eyes react. So she's been all right. So that's okay. So you may be wondering why I know that's amber eyes. She had her head up just now, and I could see nicely that she has those amber colored Sabrina, you're asking if lions eat people. Yes, the Nkuma pride is very fierce. They have consumed a number of people in their time. No, I'm just kidding. Lions do eat people, um, and there has been many a reported case of man-eating lions. So I think earlier we were, they were discussing, Taylor was discussing the man-eaters of Savo, or the Savo lions. And so there was very famous males in that area. Um... That, that killed a whole bunch of people. And then there's been lions on, in Tanzania and lions in, all over the place that have gone after people. Even here in Kruger, there's been a number of lions that have killed people. At the end of the day, they're big predators, they're meat eaters. And a lot of the time when they've had incidents with lions eating people, it's either been old individuals or sick individuals that are battling to hunt other species or it's people that have been silly enough to do stupid things around lions and end up getting right in between them and that causes them to get attacked and once you have a situation where 
a lion grabs onto somebody, even if it's just trying to defend itself and it tastes that blood and realizes that this could potentially be food, then you'll find that they will start to do it more often and it becomes almost learned behavior to hunt down people. So there is a very real risk of being eaten by lions. In fact, there was somebody that was eaten by lions here in the Sabi Sands at Chitwa Airstrip. So there was one of the trackers was eaten by lions there and which was quite a while ago. That was about, if I'm trying to remember now, it was 2001, I think, somewhere around there. It was a long time ago already, but it does happen. There's most certainly these things do take place and lions, like I say, are the apex predators out there. So you've got to be careful around them. Luckily though, most of the lions that we have here in the Sabi Sands are very used to the vehicles and very used to even people on foot because they get tracked and they see people on foot from a young age but those people don't chase them hurt them don't get so close as to to be able to become food and they're not taught to hunt them by their moms so most of our lions here are a little bit more relaxed than some other areas you find a lot of the time where there's conflict with lions is generally where people are very aggressive to them and hunt them or try and kill them or it's a situation where they've taken over vast tracts of land and they've left the lions with very little and nowhere to go and hunt and so the lions are running out of food items and then they start coming into places where they'll start killing people so but the bottom line is yes they do eat people if they have if they can get hold of them because at the end of the day they're a predator and we are meat and so they don't differentiate between us or an antelope in terms of once they've got us in between their paws we're essentially the same thing as meat and bone